Hi, welcome to the DB5 video tutorial. It's the second part in the Adaptive Sweep series. Today I want to do that simple bottle here. So let's have fun with KTV5. Okay, first I need a line. I could go for a 3D line or I could go for a 2D sketch line. So I will go for a 2D sketch line. So make a sketch on the YZ plane. I can hide these, but I can also leave these doesn't really matter. So let's go for a line. Let's map onto that projected origin. And this should have a length of 180. Then I want to place some points on that curve. So go for this one, lock it. And the first point would be at set 10, another one for set 100, next one set is 150, one at 860, and the last one at 180. And confirm, cancel this out. Now I need a plane normal to that line. So go for a plane. Should be normal to curve. This will be the curve. And the point should be an end point. Let's zoom in a little bit and go there. So I want to use that end point and confirm. And now I can do a sketch on that plane. I can go for a positioned one. Mm, yeah, I want to swap and reverse re like that. And I need an ellipse. like this and like that. Give it dimensions. So this should be 100 in diameter. But please take note, later on I will have to use the radius. And the other axis should be not like this, but Yeah, that's kind of awkward. Make it like that. And this should be 25. Now, in order to get it fully defined, select it, select it and go for constraints define a dialog box and make it horizontal. So it should be fully constrained. Leave that sketch. And now let's go for our adaptive sweep. Okay. Where's our adaptive sweep? There it is. Select the guide curve. That would be the line. Spine is the same. That's okay. Reference surface is okay. And the sketch would be this one. That's just a warning, you can ignore it in this case, and this one as well. Now I want to add one in this point, one in that point, this one, that one, and the last one. Now let's change the parameters. So that would be the last one. This should be, take note, I have to use the radius. That would be 10 and 10. Then go for section 5, which should be 10 and 10 as well. Let's go for section 4. And this might be 38 and 20.
this should be 25 and 12. And section two would be the same as section one. So let's confirm this. Great. Let's hide these. And I want to cut the plane here. So go for, that would be a split. I want to split this plane here with that sketch, which gives me, if I reverse the side, a nice planar surface and confirm. Let's hide this sketch as well. And now I can go for a shape fillet between this surface. Let's take a look at that arrow. That's the wrong direction. And that surface, that's the correct direction. And I want to go for 10 millimeters and confirm. And I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.